This is the answer of assessment of module 7 general mathematics. This is answer number 1. It is in the form of f of x equals p of x over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomials functions and q of x is not equal to 0. So we are referring to rational function. Number 2, it's, here is a problem. Marta has won 19 out of 28 tennis matches this season. Which equation model suggests how many more games she needs to win to the average between 75% wins over loses. So the answer is letter B. 19 plus X over 28 plus X equals 0.75. Okay. Now number three. In order to get the college tennis scholarship, Martha needs to bring her winning average to 80%. What is the number of matches she needs to win given that she already won 19 out of 28 games? So here is the solution, number three. So from the uh, equation we have on number 2, 19 plus x over 28 plus x equals 80% or 4 fifth. You cross multiply 5 or cross product 5 times quantity 19 plus x and 4 times quantity 28 plus x. Here is it. So if you multiply this one, the answer is 95. This is 95 and this is 5 times x, that's 5x. It's equal to, this is 112 and 4 times positive x is positive 4x. By addition property of equality, so let's isolate 5x on the left side. So by addition, just add the the recipro uh, the the opposite of 5x, and uh, the opposite of 4x, which is negative 4x. Here, subtract here 4x, subtract here also 4x. So this is bring down 95, and this is x, and this is zero. Bring down 112. Now isolate x to isolate x. Let's get 95 let's get 95 so by addition property of equality we are to add negative 95 on each of the side of the equation so that is 95 minus 95 112 minus 95 is 17 so the answer is 17 letter c okay for question number four to six we are referring to this problem Joel is working on his chemistry project and he has 300 ml of 12% acid solution. If he needed to decrease the acidity of the solution, which of the following is correct function that would show the, the new ac acidity of the solution given x ml of water added. So the function is letter A, 36 over 300 plus x. Now, if Joel decided to decrease the acidity of solution by adding 15 more than every interval, which table which table of values is correct? So here is the interval. We will increase 15 more in every interval. So this is the first interval, 15. Increase it by 30, 15 equals 30, then 45, and 60. Now let's use the function that we had uh, that we had answered on number four. So f of x equals 36 over 300 plus x. So replace x by 15. So the answer is 11.43%. Here, 36 over replace x by 30, our answer is 10.91%. And here, replace x by 45, the answer is 10.43. And here, replace x by 60, our answer is 10%. And this answer is on letter, letter A. Letter A. Okay. Next, number 6, which of the following shows the, the decrease of acidity in your solution? Okay, so it's not clear. The graph is not clear. So we could skip this one. Number seven, which of the following is the correct table of values of the rational function f of x equals x, x over x plus one? So you use it. So the four choices has the independent variable ranges from negative one to one, negative one, zero, and one. Now, if we are to use this function and substitute the value of x by negative 1 here the first answer is undefined and obviously it's letter a now when our x is 0 0 our y is 0 so here is 0 so that the answer is letter a now which when is the graph of the function undefined in a certain values of x so it is undefined when the denominator is zero and it is letter b when the value of the denominator is zero then it is undefined function is undefined okay which equation satisfies the table of values below 
Okay. So all you have to do is to substitute the value of x. And let's try our x is 0. So when our x is 0, our y is 3. When our x is negative 1, our y is undefined. So let's have find here negative 1. So this is undefined because if this is negative 1 plus 1, the answer is 0 and this is undefined. Undefined. So probably the answer is letter B or C. But we need to uh, try more. Where is really our answer? Okay. Is it B or C? Let's try 0. So if our x is 0, 0 plus 3 is 3, and 0 plus 1 is 1, so 3 divided by 1 is 3. So when our x is 0, our y is 3. It's letter B. Now, number 10, which table of values satisfies the graph presented on the right side? Okay, this is a linear function graph. Linear function graph, and look at the point here. It passes through the center at the, the coordinate is 0, 0. So the point your x is 0, y is 0. x is 0, y is 0. Here is letter B. No other answer. x is 0, y is 0. So that's just letter B. Using the values from negative 10 to 10 with an interval of 5, which of the following best describes a table of values of the function g of x equals 2x cubed plus 4x minus 19? So the answer is letter B. Okay. All you have to do is to substitute the values from negative 10 to 10, an interval of 5. So let's try 0. So if this is 0, if x is 0, if this is 0, this cubic term is 0, and this linear term is 0, and our answer is negative 19. So if, if our x is 0, our function is negative 19. Uh, there are only two choices having the answers of negative 19, is A and B. Let's double check further. So if our x is 5, if our x is 5, positive 5, what is the value of, of our g of x? If this is 5, this is 125 times 2 to 50. To 50 plus... This is 20 to 50 plus 20 this is 270 minus 270 minus 19 is 251. So our answer is letter B. So 11 is letter B. In a bread and pastry class, a certain recipe calls for 3 kilograms of sugar for every 6 kilograms of flour. If 60 kilograms of this sweet has to prepare, how much sugar is required? Which equation satisfies the problem? That is letter C. X equals 60 times 3 over 6 plus 3. Okay, how many kilograms of sugar is needed for 90 kilograms of sweets? Now, following the formula of number 12, that's uh, 90 kilograms sweets times 3 divided by 6 plus 3. So, the answer is 30. And the answer is letters 